New tonight at 10 worries over water continue for one area community. The Army moving forward with plans to clean up around the former Badger ammunition plant. News 3's Mark Lovacott tells us why critics are saying not so fast. Slowly but surely, the landscape around Badger ammo is changing. But the same question is still being asked 20 years later. How do we provide safe drinking water to the neighbors? After years of studies, well monitoring and compiling data, Badger ammo has taken its first official step with the DNR to give its neighbors a new source for their sometimes questionable drinking water. What we think would be more cost effective and provide greater assurance for the folks is if we had a municipal or a district water system. So the Army's willing to pay that cost, and that's what we're proposing as our remedy. The plan will cost around $40 million, almost half of what it would cost to continue treating groundwater for the next 30 years. That treatment would stop if a new water system is built. How do we choose between what comes, the water that comes out of our tap and the quality of our environment? That's not a choice. Laura Ola from Citizens for Safe Water around Badger doesn't like the plan. She's worried about the contaminants already in the groundwater, which will ultimately be abandoned. We will put in municipal water. You can choose municipal water, but if you do, now we're going to back off all the cleanup. If there's no one accessing that water once we put the water system in, the a natural impacts of attenuation will happen and the water will naturally clean itself up over time. Now questions have been raised about irrigation wells that farmers have in the area, but Badger Ammo says water quality at those sites is not considered a problem by the DNR. Badger Ammo should get a yes or no from the DNR within 90 days. Public comment will also happen during that time. If they do get a green light, Badger Ammo says they'll petition the town of Merrimack to go ahead and start establishing a water district. All right, News 3's Mark Lovacart reporting. Thanks, Mark.